Congratulations, Games Workshop! You've finally done it! You've reached the mainstream where now your public screw-ups are a matter of national news. <laughs> Perhaps not quite the level of fame that you'd hoped for, but most assuredly the level that you have so thoroughly deserved. As the Mail Online, the Daily Mail, has decided to pick up the female custodies controversy. Well, granted, still more of a tabloid than a newspaper, but we're getting there, we're getting there. We are so far away from having CNN and Fox News do a segment on GW, which would be oh, beautiful. So, what is this? Well, it's a hobby where people paint little plastic miniatures and bash them together in mock warfare. Ah, like Green Army Men. Yes, precisely like Green Army Men. Hey, <laughs> kind of. Except, you know, you lazy gits with green army men don't paint them. That's the green part. But before we begin, I just want to call a, a minute of silence. Not really, but, you know, figuratively. For the true victims of this controversy. The Sisters of Silence. Like, my God. They used to be, for all intents and purposes, the female custodies. The same level of veneration, the same level of elite status, the same level of special equipment. For all intents and purposes, they were the elite female arm of the Adeptus Custodies. And what has happened to them? Well, they've just been quietly shoved right out of the way, which is extra painful when you recognize the fact that these are the Null Maidens. They are born with the pariah gene, something that makes everyone else look at them and automatically instinctually, unavoidably hate them. They are naturally disturbing entities to other humans. They have lived their entire lives being spat upon, being ignored, harassed and hated. And here comes Daddy GW and throws them out of the house in favor of female custodies. Oh boy, that has got some real daddy don't love you energy to it, doesn't it? There's going to be a lot of women on terror with daddy issues in the near future is all I'm saying. And hey, that's a gold... Yes, no, you know what? A golden lining rather than a silver one. But to return to the point here, the Daily Mail immediately picks up on the... That's an AI-generated image of Henry Cavill. Uh, <laughs> on the key problem here, which is since the first of the 10,000 were created, there have always been female custodians. It is, of course, the lie that is the biggest deal and what they talk about the most here, amongst other things um, noticing Mark Kern of course uh, pointing this out as well because his thing GW absolutely has retconned things in the past sometimes for the better sometimes for the worst absolutely but whenever they do they just go like yeah no we've changed the law on this we've retconned it you know it, it, here's our reasons there you go but now they're not even doing that they're going I'm gonna uh, the, the law was always this way no it wasn't You've, you've saw law books that tells us that the law wasn't always this way. You told us this wasn't the law, and here you are staring us dead in the eye going, I don't, I don't remember any of that. <laughs> Why would you lie about that? But we know we are they lie. We have talked about it now for the last couple of days and in yesterday's big everything is political video I laid it all out. It's because this is a political thing right here. See, GW has always been the bad guys in the modern day cultural context. They are the racist, white supremacist, evil company that creates a board game for men. Those most violent, disgusting of creatures who cannot have any recreation or escapism whatsoever. At least they, I don't know, have fun or something weird like that. And thus, since the leftist idea is simply good person or bad person, the only way to become a good person is to eradicate your own history. It is to make it so that never existed. It's the exact same reason why they're tearing down statues to remove history and then look at you like... That never happened. Oh, what, 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 are you on? what are you even on about? Literal, actual, unironic gaslighting. And this has caused 
quite the Führer, as I'm sure many of you have already noticed. Uh, to the point again where the Daily Mail is talking about this insanity right here. And a lot of people have also been threatening to boycott either Whatever entirely and cancel their Whatever Plus subscription. Incidentally, if you're subscribed to Whatever Plus, don't be at any point ever. It's a terrible service that costs way too much, offers way too little, and is literally the easiest thing for us to hit and boycott. For the rest of you, uh, 3D printer does indeed go burr. And hey, here's another thing too. If, if you don't want to have the bother of getting a 3D printer yourself, you can pay people to 3D print stuff for you for like a third of the GW price. Just uh, you know, pointing that out, itsy bitsy little bit of information there. And there was also this, which is a supposed leak that came out of GW. Now, I'm about 98% sure this is fake because they mention Eisenhorn and the Amazon thing as if they were somehow interlinked, which they, they aren't at all. Eisenhorn got started way before that, but I do think it brings up some interesting little points here. Female custodians are only going to be mentioned in the codex, and no new sculpts or characters after the fact. Social media department jumped the gun and tried to put out fires with the wrong hose. Intent is to push female custodians' characters in Amazon's show without it breaking law, because Amazon execs wanted a woman in power armor and wouldn't settle for Sisters of Battle. Now, that does make a certain amount of sense. I've talked about the Amazon situation previously, and how Amazon has already been making some soft demands of GW and giving them some special privileges in Returns, a little bit of horse trading between the two parties. Amazon is a company a lot woker again than GW is. They have gendered quotas in their entertainment productions. So it would make entire sense that they would go, go okay, what's the what, what what sells the most for you, GW? Well, Space Marines. Okay, make them female. And they go, we can't. Like it would it, it would it would kill our company. Uh, we literally can't. And then they go back and forth until eventually arriving on, okay, the custodians are close enough to female space marines, but also hopefully distant enough to the point where everyone won't throw a fit. But we will, because we know exactly what you're doing with this. And I can also entirely see Amazon reject the Sisters of Battle or the Sisters of Silence for the simple reason that for them too, this isn't a question of representation, it's a question of politics. People involved in the show are pissed because they've been moving ahead on Eisenhorn. Talks of inserting female custodians into Eisenhorn's story with Cavill threatening to walk away from the project. Now, again, this is the part where I think is probably 98% bullshit because the Eisenhorn project has nothing to do with Amazon or Cavill as far as I'm aware. And Cavill threatening to walk away? Well, God, I hope so, but... See, I am always, always worried as well about trusting in Hollywood celebrities. Now, Cavill is more of a peripheral celebrity, and he has never given me any reason to doubt his cred as an actual fanboy first and foremost, but I have been burned too many times to hope that he would actually have the sheer titanium balls required to say no to God only knows how big of a paycheck just to stand up for his hobbies. That would make him a literal saint at hell. Even I'm not sure I'd turn down an Amazon paycheck for it, so, you know, bear that in mind. Small stock dropped today, but GW figures it can ride it out if it stays, uh, stays a mum on the subject. They really need better social media employees. Cavill will be an article due to heading to GW to work on the next new series this week or next. So... GW stocks have indeed been taking a little bit of a pounding as of late. It's been a steady trend downwards, with it having fallen 5.23% over the course of the last five days, which is not great. It's not catastrophic. It's not like, oh my god, the rats are all leaving the sinking ship level or anything here. But it's definitely not a wonderful situation to be in. And all of this, presumably over one announcement, is really not good. It dropped by like 2.5% on the day of the announcement, and it has now doubled to 5.23% over the course of, again, around about a week. Not a great situation to be in. And once more, it is virtually all because of the way they put it. If they had simply said, oh, there are female custodians now, and they hadn't commented on it at all, that would uh, people would have whined about it. People would have complained. I would have complained. Absolutely, I'd have pointed it out. But instead, they decided to double down in a matter that can only be interpreted as political. There is only one movement that goes change this thing and then pretend you didn't even change it. 
and I can see it being in a move from Amazon. I absolutely can. Because if it was actually GW, let me let me put it like this, right? If this was actually Games Workshop idea, I sort of kind of think it probably was because there's a lot of people within GW that are also quite woke, but let me present you the counter argument just for, you know, chips and giggles. GW has again and again and again and again said that they are not a company that sells law, they are a company that sells models, which incidentally is bullshit and GW should know it unless they're complete idiots, but okay. GW is a model toy company, first and foremost, fair enough. But in that case, why aren't you shouting this from the rooftops? You are making an enormous change to one of your most popular and most overpowered model lines. Where are the new models? Where are the new hero models? Where are the new sculpts? Where are the new? Shouldn't this be articles? Shouldn't there be teasers? Shouldn't he be putting out little teaser pics of like, oh my god, what's this? A female custodian's head? Why aren't you trying to sell us models, model company? Yeah, um, once you start thinking about it like that, it gets rather obvious, doesn't it? Either they knew that this would be so deeply unwelcome that it was done almost solely by the social media team in isolation, which is possible, albeit relatively unlikely, but I want to point out as well here. This could have simply slipped past the people doing the checking of the codexes, right? Because GW has now a long history of releasing erroneous nonsense, like, um, you know, calling the the, uh, the Ultramarines the Eighth Legion for the Night Lords, for example. Or simply getting color schemes wrong, so, or Legion numbers wrong, lots of, lots of little detail thingies, right? That in isolation means nothing, but once you see the pattern, you begin to understand that they aren't really caring that much about the setting anymore. And so, if you give the codex to a bunch of people who don't really care, and they read through it, they might not even notice the fact that one of the custodians is female. They might not know why that's the problem. They might even have fallen hook, line, or sinker for the argument I've seen repeated again and again on the internet from the progressives going, oh, you know, there's, there's never been a law reason for why there couldn't be custodies females, except of course, there has, because one, they've never been mentioned, and two, the custodies have always been described as male universally. So, three leading theories. One, GW was forced into this by Amazon, which makes a certain amount of sense because they're not talking about it and they're not trying to sell you models for it. Two, GW has just gone woke and you know what? Probably, in all due honesty. And it might be a little bit of an intersect with one, but two sounds quite likely. Or three, this was some sort of rogue employee or group of employees, usually within the writing staff, as we know they are uber woke, that decided to throw this in there, see what happens, and the quality assurance team simply didn't pick it up. That's the optimistic interpretation, and I don't believe it. Even GW aren't that incompetent. Surely. Sure, sure, surely. Surely, right? Surely. So, yeah. Ah, well, um, again, congratulations, GW and Henry Cavill. Um, more so than ever, my dude. We're counting on you to make some good what I'm a 40k. Or possibly, considering the alternative, maybe making some really bad 40k in the name of accelerationism. Honestly, at this point, I'm open to both. Until next time, I have been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.